guys, welcome back to the channel. I am sitting just here on my walking path with some coffee and uh, just wanted to give you guys a little update on what has been going on. There's seriously been so much happening in the last couple of weeks and honestly, I've been struggling on how to put this video together. So you may have seen in my intro video that I have a chick brooder in my office and I just wanted to share with you guys the time lapse of me creating the base of that. So here we go. So there you guys go, um, my chick brooder, and yes, you are correct, I did not show putting the sides on in the video. Um, that day I actually ran out of time, uh, it was starting to get a little bit dark on me, and also it was kind of starting to sprinkle, so I had to go in. We were out of plywood, so I actually couldn't finish it that day, and Jameson and I had to run to Lowe's this last weekend. The chick brooder finally got done, so literally a day after I got the chick brooder done, I received an email from Meyer Hatchery saying that my chicks had shipped. I will show you guys what happened when I finally got my box and got home yesterday and opened it. All right, so this is what a Meyer Hatchery order looks like. So here's what they look like. Very cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in their brooder so they can get under the heating plate and like sort of warm up. Apparently the water is a very fun thing. I think since that one is like literally like dunking himself in the water, I might do the trick where you put rocks in the water to make sure that they don't drown. The black one is one of my Americanas. And I think that gray one right there is a blue Americana. And I think these other blue ones right here are the blue splash marons. And then the brown one is the olive agar. And then that <laughs> is my buff Orpington. What are those, Ronan? Little chicken nuggets for Ronan, huh? Are you really interested in what's going on? Hmm. Snacks, he says. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm. 
So there you guys go. I finally have my baby chicks and I was so, so, so excited. I have been wanting my own chickens for years now and very excited to finally have little chickies in my office. Another new thing that you guys may have seen from my intro video is the new herb beds that I have created and I was actually able to knock them out in one evening which was really impressive even for me so I'm really excited that those are in. We had plenty of dirt left over to put into there and I actually think that we have enough dirt if I wanted to do one more I probably could but we're gonna do potato um, grow bags and I'm gonna make sure that we have enough dirt for the grow bags before I do another um, herb bed. So here is a quick time lapse of me creating those raised beds. And if it seems choppy, it's because Ron and Arya knocked the camera over several times. So <laughs> I'm sorry guys, dog life. <laughs> Alright guys, so there you have it, new herb beds, and here they are, look at that, I'm very excited, and we're going to be growing a bunch of herbs in here, so basil, oregano, parsley, chamomile, lots of stuff for the rabbits and the guinea pigs to eat, and stuff for me and Jameson also, but very excited that these are here. And yes, I do plan on um, wrapping these with hardware cloth, just like I did my um, garden area and I actually you know what you guys haven't even seen them wrapped in hardware cloth yet So we'll go over there in a second Okay, so another update that I want to share with you guys is about the rabbits because I know that you all are going to be asking about them um, but Holly and One of her babies is currently living in the tractor. So we'll go over there and check them out So there they are And no matter what I do they keep knocking over their water bowl but we do have a water bottle hooked up, so even if they knock it over, they still have water. I've kind of modified this to be like a sliding door, so I can just have it be a, I can just have a very little um, crevice there for them. So if it rains, they're completely protected from the rain now. Um, and I did put the back of it on hinges finally, and I also wanted that sliding door to be there just in case I needed to open it. Holly has been having a tendency to jump out whenever I open it, so, um, and then she runs around the yard and it's kind of a mess trying to, trying to get her, um, cause she's not one of my yard bunnies, so, um, so that has been a whole thing. On one of my last videos, I said that I kind of wanted to see what would happen if Holly had a litter in the rabbit tractor, but after a couple of days um, of her living in here, I think that I may have decided against that because I have caught her digging um, two or three times now and I have lined like the sides of the tractor um, with some garden fencing so she can't actually dig up to the edge of the tractor so I'm not worried about that but I'm just worried about her like digging multiple holes in our yard mainly. But I also needed to mention that yes, all of her babies have been completely weaned off um, and she's just living with her one daughter here. Um, and then three of the daughters are living in a cage back at the hutch, and then three of the bucks are living in a cage back at the hutch. And we're just gonna let them grow out until they're like 12 to 16 weeks old, just to see um, how big they get, because I keep documenting the weights at different weeks. Um, so, so that is kind of where um, that stands. And if I put Holly back in a cage in the hutch, then I'm just gonna move all of her daughters out here um, in the rabbit tractor and just let them grow out in the tractor. All right, so it is on hinges. 
What's up? I see you, Miss Hollyhock. I see what you're doing. So, uh, oh my gosh, see, this is why she cannot be in here anymore. I'm gonna have to move her tonight, guys. Maybe you guys can help me with that. But what I've done here is we just have like this section that has a solid wood bottom and I just keep putting hay over there. It's kind of like their little hay nesting area. And that was gonna be the nest box as well, but um, it's just not working with Holly being in here. So um, so what will probably happen is tonight I'll probably move all the daughters in here. All right, so I will probably, probably take her out because if she dug a hole that deep, it was 12 hours. I don't want to think about what she could do overnight. So I'm gonna show you guys the raised beds really quick. So there are the completed raised beds with the hardware cloth on them. So I just kind of worked several days over just trying to get these as straight as possible. Some of them aren't, but that's fine. They're not all gonna be perfect. Um, and I'm just kind of hoping that everything's okay. We kind of had a freeze the other day. I think kale is okay. I'm hoping I don't have to replant cabbage because I haven't seen any of that come up yet. Here is our garlic and onions coming up. Very excited about that. And you guys probably can't see it, but there is a row of spinach starting to come up also. So I'm actually going to get the baby bunny does out of their cage and I'm gonna flip flop them with hollyhock because I just can't trust her anymore in that tractor without digging, so. She's not very happy with me for putting her back in her cage, but she'll be fine. I'm not worried about her because she got this moody during her last pregnancy too. I think that she's just a moody, a broody moody doe. So that's kind of what, that's kind of her thing, but she produces very sweet babies. So you're a good girl, Holly. Good girl, you're just very moody. I'm sorry, you have to go back in your cage. It's the safest option for you. Hey, little bun buns. These are all of Holly's girls, all four of them. And they're so gorgeous. I'm so excited about how they all look. That one right there is very silvery already. Hi. They're really enjoying <laughs> going in and out. I think they really like the, the cave feature now that I've got it covered more. And just in case you guys were wondering, this is what I was talking about when I said I had garden fencing up on the edge. It's just to prevent them from digging anywhere near the edge of the tractor. So it kind of helps with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.